night. I'm still so glad I found you outside today. I just found out our new grandbaby, who is a girl, is deaf. And I just have a lot of questions for you because I know you are deaf also. And how does that happen? That is good to see you. Oh, what really? Ah. A different baby. That's wonderful news. Oops. You might be wondering. Why is the world is my saying that this is a wonderful news? Well, you know what? A, a different baby is nothing. What is important is how you treat this person. We are all the same. It doesn't matter if we are deaf or not. We are the same. If we believe we can do something and we put our mind to it, we will be successful. Uh, how, how can I have a good relationship, though, with the baby? Well, as soon as you meet your grandbaby, you need to start signing and communicating with her. Do you know any sign? No, I don't know any sign language. Okay, so you need to take some sign language classes right away. The sooner the better. So you can communicate with your grandbaby by signing because see, they watch by learning how people sign. So they start building that good relationship with the person. So it's important to go ahead and take your classes as soon as you can. Oh, well. I could do that. I'm sure our local college has a class or something, or somewhere in the city, you know, I could find a class. But how do you talk on the phone? I mean, you can't call or talk on the phone or, or anything like that. So how, how, if I'm away from her, how do I communicate with her? Well, you know what? My home is right around the corner. So if you want, I can show you everything we have so we use in everyday life. We have video phone. You can chat face to face. Um, we have texting, uh, paging. We just have so many devices so we can communicate. So there is not a, a, a reason why you can't. You should know the experience. Oh, well, that doesn't sound too scary then. So do we do we have to do speech therapy with her or cochlear implants? Do you know anything about that? Uh, my daughter brought that up, but I don't know if that's uh, something that she would be eligible for. Well, sure. Yeah, she can get the cochlear implant or speech therapy. The residential school and mainstream, we have uh, a training program. Even a private tutor can help. But what is important here is the language. That's what you need to focus on right now, right now uh, with support of speech. Coconut is fine if your decision is up to you. But I want to let you know that right now, as we speak, there is a huge controversy going on in the deaf community because of the wrong attitude taken by some of the family members. Because according to them, it causes a lot of emotional problems. So they are blaming the parents because you can't give them one thing and take it away another. So it is a very sticky situation, but with the right attitude, you know, things can go a long way. That couplet helps with the speech, so every person is so different, so it doesn't help for everybody in the same way. So it's a tough call. As I told you before, communication, it is the key in everything. Some people get benefit with cochlear by improving their hearing or their speech. Well, should, um, so we should start out with the sign language then, and then as she gets older, maybe go into these other things, but for right now, just just let her know that we love her and, and just have upbeat. Be upbeat, is that what you're saying? That's right. As I said before, the speech helps, but it's possible. Because the ear also needs uh, that special stimulation to get used to it. So is the eyes. The eyes also need that exposure. 
ASL and English are two competing languages. So what you need to do is take the class, as I told you before. Because sign language and English are two competing languages, and both are very important. But teach her at different time, not at the same time. Because she might get confused with that. Now, when she's uh, fluent in both, I mean, she can just uh, switch back and forth because she will be a bilingual child. So there will be no oh, problem later on. Actually, teach them to breathe. They'll learn to breathe. I mean, you read, I guess. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they'll learn to breathe. They'll learn to breathe. Yeah, you bet, yeah, I know how to read. See, when I was born and I was deaf, my parents, they just treat me just like any other child. They gave me food and they expect me to read. They have high expectancy for me. So every day I have to sit down and read and learn. They encourage me. I wasn't a lazy person. I was always doing something, trying to learn to improve myself. So I owe my mom a lot. So I am giving you the same advice. Because eventually they all will learn to read and write. But the love, you know, love conquers all. That is the main uh, key in any relationship. It doesn't matter if you're there for here, who cares? Love her. We all need the same love and attention. Well, that's good. That's good to know. So I'm thinking she can just go on and have a great life and with her education she can get married. I mean you're married evidently and everything seems to be okay there. So I don't, I'm really just talking with you has made me just so much, feel so much easier about it. I'm glad I know you so I can ask you these questions and I hope I don't get too personal <laughs> or anything with this because I really just want to do the best for her. That's right, absolutely. I mean, any time you want any concern, you have any question, please come to me. I mean, I don't care, I don't mind. That's the reason we're neighbors. I look forward to meet your granddaughter, your grandbaby. I also will be more than happy to teach you some signs. You know, not a, a, a huge amount, but some sign will be fine. Well, that sounds good. I look forward to those meetings. Look forward to that and getting to know you and your family even better. Sure, no problem.